So our food engineers. <laughs> what a term. You got those over at Kraft that are like, hmm, how can we make our mac and cheese with less cheese? How about we make it with less mac too? That's a good idea, Jerry. <laughs> Today, we have some very exciting news in our Slime Rancher game. We got a little letter from Ogden that says, Partnership? Question mark. You seem to be making a name for yourself, and I like your style, so let me cut right to the chase. I'd like to offer you a job doing a little side work for me. I've got a chunk of land on the outskirts of my property that has access to a place called the Wilds. And that's where we're going today, you guys. So visit Ogden's Retreat. It's right over there where the star is. Now, I'm not sure what awaits us over there. We might have uh, new slimes, whatever. We might need to use one of our slime keys. Uh, I still have the one from last episode just in case. So we're going to go see. Ogden's Retreat. We're to retreat after you've escaped. That's kind of... Uh, kind of not telling me at all what we're going to be doing here. Oh, it is locked off. Well, this is more of a buying type locked off, not a slime key locked off. Okay, is this from Ogden? Hiya, Beatrix. Thanks for coming down to my retreat and hearing me out on my offer. So let's get right down to business. I built this place years ago as a little vacation spot for myself. It's very nice. Later on, I realized that it has neighbors, that it, that it neighbors a cluster of islands. Filled with primitive saber slimes. Ooh. I called these islands the wilds, and after exploring them, they have revealed their true nature. The rare Kukadoba fruit. Uh, yeah. Feral sli Oh, feral slimes. That's not good. Reward me for collecting sweet Kukadobas. Secret miracle mix for my gardens. Ooh block of special spicy tofu for every three kukadobas okay so every three fruits that we get we uh we get his tofu or whatever and then if we get 75 we get something for our gardens so we do we just go back through here no that's not right well where the heck oh there's one all right let's see the wilds and feral slimes right away. Wonderful. Um, hey, here's the fruit. Kukadoba. Oh, they're just everywhere. This is going to be easy. You'd have to be crazy to collect these things. Well, call me crazy then. Because I guess these things are worth risking my life for some, uh, some farm upgrades. I'll grab these hen hens. Because from the looks of these guys, they're tabbies. Which means they're going to eat chickens. So once I feed them, they won't hurt me, right? <gasps> Plorts? Saber slime. Or at least it's descendant. Okay, so these are saber slime de de descendants. Gosh, that's a hard word. And I got saber plorts from feeding them. So they're basically feral largos. There is no really saber slime. There's just a bunch of feral saber slime largos. Where are all the Kukadobas? I mean, we first came in and we got three right away. And I thought, hey, this is going to be easy. But then after a little while, oh, there's one. <laughs> We're just walking through and there is just nothing. Come here, Kukadoba. So this kind of seems less like a skill thing. Oh, here's one of those saber ports. Less like a skill thing and more of a, more of a grinding thing. So eventually, we'll run around and find enough of these to get 75, which will be uh, the upgrade. Excuse me, don't hurt me. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm excited to explore this new area. Come here, chicken. And maybe, dang it, did I get bit? Here's another saber port. I'm just going to start carrying these around, because I mean, oh, dang. I wonder if I can take the saber plorts back to my uh, back to my home area and sell them. 
That might be something interesting. And if so, how much are they worth? <laughs> Kukadoba. These words in this game are so silly. I found something, guys. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a slime toy, I think. Maybe. Can I shoot it at these guys? Will it calm them down? No. It's a saber slime mud ball, and it says it contains Kukadoba. I'm not sure what to do with them. Maybe that's what these things are for. I've been seeing them around. It is. What's it going to do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back here. So basically, it's like a nutcracker. I just got to shoot them in there, and it'll pop out Kukadobas. Well, that's nice to know now. I've passed like three of those things. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Tars. You guys are on your own. I'll let the Tars eat you because I can't get rid of you. And then once once you're all Tars, then I'll just shoot the Tars. Come here. There we go. And more just spawn. Well, that's great. Alright, well now that the mystery is solved of the mysterious Kukadoba ball, uh, I guess I'll be back once I'm full on Kukadobas and uh, we can head back to base. Okay guys, so I guess basically how it works is the teleporter you went in, you don't come back out of. He probably said that while I was zipping through what he was saying, but uh, I didn't see that. So basically, around their map there's different teleporters and only one of them is going to be the way to get back. So, yeah, that's nice to know now. We now have 40 out of 75, and we got some tofu. Spicy tofu. It never quite fills you up. Uh, I guess I can just head back now. It's night time now. Uh, hold on. Chicken? You're a stony hen. So, yeah, basically what I've kind of been doing... When I can't outrun them, I just kind of shoot them with the chickens and uh, feed them, and then I get the saber ports. I haven't been able to get back to base to check if the saber ports are worth anything, so I might just be collecting them for nothing. But I mean, they're plorts. They must have a reason to exist, right? Oh wow, a rad, a rad gordo. Not gordo, largo. Man, I'm mixing up the terminology left and right. Come here, chicken. Uh... I have been around the map once or twice, as far as I can tell, and uh, I'm kind of noticing, like, where you first found Kukadobas, ooh, treasure pod, still can't open those, where you would first find Kukadobas, like, they aren't there anymore, like they need respawn time or something, which makes sense, because I mean, when you find fruits or veggies in the real world, not the real world, but you know, the main area, they need time to respawn too, so... This area doesn't seem any different. Ooh, Kukadoba ball. Thank you. Uh, any more Kukadobas over here? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, here's one. You guys! I found a secret cave! Behind the waterfall! And it's full of Kukadobas and Kukadoba balls! Uh oh, mean guys. Uh, take this, take that. And you can take that. Sweet. Uh, I only got three there. There's one. And there's two. Thankfully, these guys don't eat the Kukadobas. Otherwise, there would be quite a few times where uh, I'd get Kukadobas out of the balls. And, like, the guys near it could have eaten it if they ate the Kukadobas. But they didn't, so that's good. This is super cool. I can't believe the secret cave was here. Excuse me? You want some tough guy? Chicken. Uh, after this, we're going to have to find a teleporter to get back to the, the base, whatever you want to call it. Oh, come back, come back. And because uh, now we have 75, and we're going to turn in these last 14 to uh, get our new farming upgrade. It might be over here. I remember there being a teleporter over here. Ooh, there's a Kukadoba up there. Come on, stamina. Don't fail me now. And Kukadoba. Do we got the teleporter? There it is. It wasn't on this island. It's on this one. Okay. Boom. Oh, is that it? 
Are these gonna go to waste? FaceTime? You are welcome. The Miracle Mix. That sounds awesome. Can't wait to use that. Miracle Mix prevents fruits and veggies from rotting. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. I don't really leave my veggies in the plots long enough for them to rot, but... I guess that's cool. Star Food Engineers. <laughs> what a term. You got those over at Kraft that are like, Hmm, how can we make our mac and cheese with less cheese? How about we make it with less mac, too? That's a good idea, Jerry. <laughs> to grow my own wholesome food with two hands. It's a good idea, man. Way to be a farmer. Thank you, farmer, from Culver's. But enough about that. On to more. Kukadobas. Oh, so we can get more. Oh, so we can get more. Even more garden upgrades. Oh, man, that's going to take a while. I don't think that's going to be in this episode. What I think we're going to do first here is we're going to check out Miracle Mix. 500 each. That's not bad. I might get that eventually. I'll be honest, I'll probably get that pretty soon here, but... Uh, yeah. So, I want to check... How much are these worth? Can I sell these? I can. For 81 each, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but what I'm going to try and do is... I don't know if this will work, but I still have these crystal guys. And if they could... Please, if they could... It works! Ladies and gentlemen, we just got something. A new slime to mix with our crystal slimes. One, two, three. Let's see, I only want eight in there. So let's suck out all the little guys here. It's, it's one. Oh, that was very dangerous. Probably should not have done that. Come here. Oh, you're already a guy. Okay. Come here, you. And the best part about it is, since now that they're Largos, where'd the last guy go? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not all eight, is it? One, two, three, four, five. Can't count these guys very well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, let's look from above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is all of them. Okay. But now that we have uh, Saber guys, Saber Largos, you know what I mean. Uh, we can just keep feeding them the odd onions, and they'll give us double the saber plorts. Four. 81 each. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Last thing I'm going to do this episode is, uh, do I have four spaces in here? I do. They're all being used. Dang it. Um, well, let's just put this one here. Add a silo. We're just going to store the spicy tofu for now. We don't need it right now. Not going to be getting more kookadobas. In fact, now that we have uh, saber largos, we don't even need to uh, we don't even need to keep feeding the wild guys the spicy tofu cuz we'll get the plorts from feeding them the odd onions. So basically, it's a win-win either way. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, and don't forget to share it with other people who you think will like it as well. But for now, have fun, everybody.